Me? I'm very... Do you know why I'm dressed all in black? Normally I'm all in pink. Yeah. Or different colors. I was at a freaking SL funeral. You oh know? My God. Don't oh, worry, she's still that. alive. She's just hiding. She's in the witness protection program. Her ex was Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of people in the witness protection fine. program. She's oh, fine. <laughs> yeah, she's not really that dead. Okay, you so know, she's, just, she's just now like she's on second life on one of her alts. Right. Oh, Every death can only last for so long. Yeah. Okay. You know? <laughs> but yeah, she was actually, yeah, she was sitting there and RPing. He's really believing it. He's crying, sniffling, and snotting, this poor bastard. <laughs> Dumb as a doorknob. Dumb as a doorknob. He's probably one of those people that when they were born, they try to push him back in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, doctor's like, oh, Jesus H. Christ, put it back. Put it back. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so that's just one of those. But yeah, luckily, yeah, she's alive. She's starting all over again. This time, all in mesh. Oh. You know? Yeah, okay. this time, all in mesh. She went to the TMP. I told her, I said, you look like a hooker. And she's like, really? Well, low, low caliber hooker, high caliber? I said, you're right there in the middle. You know, <laughs> you look like a Kim K slash Rihanna slash something else with a slash of other things. I said, but you really got to get your vagina to match. Oh, she can't walk yeah, around yeah. when yeah, it wasn't. It... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I told her, I said, you need to lay off on the red. That shouldn't look that puffy. But she explained <laughs> that she'd been around. So she probably <laughs> caught the second life Ghana herpesifilates. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it's the gonorrhea, that's the herpes, that's the, the syphilis, so that's the gonorrhoposyphilis. So that's what she probably caught it, you know? And I think I jinxed it because one day I was like, I wish this bitch would catch the clap. That was before we got along. So now that we get along, I feel bad because now she has a puffy vagina. <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah, uh, if she takes that off and throws it at somebody, that's going to be a catastrophe. <laughs> yeah. She hit with a deadly weapon. Yeah, yeah, it's true, because even on here, you could take, if you get tired of a son of a bitch, you could take off your vagina and throw them at them. Yeah, like one of those <laughs> toys. You remember those little, those little squishy toys you should throw at the walls? They're like spiders, they crawl all the way down. Probably what her <laughs> vagina will do now, so puffy. Let me stop, so why am I talking about vaginas for? Jesus. Mm. All right, somebody else speak. Save me, please. <laughs> Save me. Oh, no, no, no. We I'm were just kidding back and I'm watching this cruise is what I'm doing. Save I'm... me. <laughs> I'm just so keep bad. Back and let this cruise. So uh, bad. Oh, you, you were doing uh, the you vagina look... monologues? I thought you were doing the vagina monologues. Uh, <laughs> I know. I'm, I was there telling my whole life story practically, minus the red vagina. Uh, you know? That, that's just, that's some serious stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you get when you cross a donkey DNA with an onion? What? Mm. A nice piece of ass that makes your eyes water. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Every man in here knows the average vagina only stays ready for 30 minutes. After a while, you're not making love, you're making a campfire. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's the truth. It's the tr I have a I have an Apache friend, right? He's real slow. They named him uh, Runs Like Cow. His brother's fast. They named him Flying Eagle. His sister had nine kids. They named her Spread Eagle. Uh. <laughs> I'm done. Please, somebody else talk, please. No, 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 no. This, this is the Maggie show from now on. Oh, no, it can't be. I talk about rubbish. I talk about the biggest bullshit. No, well, <laughs> well you see, that's, yeah, that's that definitely stands out that's here. Because all we for. do here is tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> and other places I get in trouble for it. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, here we encourage bullshit. Well, we're, we're, here we are in the U.S. We're listening to politics. We're, yeah. We're comparing, and you aren't getting the biggest bullshit. We got. Yeah. We've got that here on television. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> That's true. Don't get me started on Trump's hair. <laughs> <laughs> he well, he have... should be he should be on a commercial for for vagina toupees. <laughs> like, you don't want to rock the ball look. You could just sit on his head and have the you know. Yeah, don't jerk in my merkin. 
<laughs> his floppy moppy that's what i call him ah. <laughs> floppy moppy you know he's a little floppy down there oh, he yeah. Has yeah. yeah he's like bratwurst gone bad Oh. <laughs> Wasn't that a rancid freaking picture in your head? Yes, I'm trying to scrub my mind out right now. I need some soap, please. <laughs> I will cleanse your mind. It's all a dream. It never happened. This house um, is clean. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you will Remember think that? pure thoughts for five seconds and it'll all be better. Oh my goodness. But with all the politics, it's just outright depressing. You know, you come in here to set, and here's the one, the good thing about Second Life. Over here, we don't see race, where you come from. Though translators do get annoying, but we still use them. Yeah, and we oh, yeah. just don't care. We never judge people. But you go to real life, you go on Facebook, you go on Flickr, Twitter, wherever you want to go, Twitty Bajaja Mahaja, and all this, this race shit back and forth, people not getting along. Here we should never have that problem. That's why I wish real life was more like Second Life. Mm, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you can't tell what race somebody. You can't even tell what sex somebody is. Exactly. Yes, Listen, I got friends that are real white in real life. I'm talking about they burn when they're in the sun for ten minutes, and they come in here and they're tan as a motherfucker. <laughs> so it's kind of like you—you you can never really tell who's what, who's who, what's where. My my granddaughter, she's Asian. In real life, she's not really Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the tan, well, that would be me. Yeah, they can't tell, just they just can't tell how old they are either. Right, right. She's not Asian. But, she's just having an allergic reaction. That's all. Yeah, she she is she's so cute though. She's she's freaking adorable. That little biatch wench. I love her face. But yeah, so that's the beauty of Second Life right there. And then it's mm -hmm. like, I remember somebody getting offended because I was shopping and I was wearing a fart hut. So there I am ripping ass. This is at the Slink Man's. She's like, ew, that's disgusting. Wait, wait, where was it? Where was it? Uh, the Slink Man's <laughs> store. The Slink Man's store. For, for the feet and the hands, I went over to the air. Yeah, I was wearing a fart hut, so I was passing gas. And she's like, ew, that's so disgusting. I said, you're worried about me being disgusting? Look, look at you. I said, you're orange, your feet don't match your freaking body, your hair's on your asshole, then you <laughs> this, you're disgusted with this, and I'm looking at all this over there, whatever you have going on, you know? <laughs> I, you know what? She could have been a supporter. She was very angry, very defensive, and she did she ageism. She was like, you're an old lady. I said, you're a fucking old twat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up your nose with a rubber hose, you son of a bitch. But yeah, no, I laughed afterwards. <laughs> Because on here, you should never let people get you angry. That's when they That's got the right. best of you. That's right. You know, you That's... joke back. You fight back with humor. And you make no. them feel stupid. <laughs> That's yeah. stupid. So <laughs> when they no, say, bro. I hate you, you say, I love you. When they you? say, oh, you, you know, when they call you, you're like, That's talking dirty to me. That's foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh... You know what? We got a lot of people here. Does anyone want to just jump right into it? Mm. Jump right into it and start. Yeah, with we the cover Hollywood vaginas, story. farting, Trump. Why not? Well, <laughs> when are you there? We usually cover I'm here, I'm here. I'm I'm listening yeah. to Granny. I know. Yeah, uh, I Granny's. I think Granny. Do this. Well, we don't have wheelchair access, unfortunately, on the stage, so. Yeah. Oh, about that. Lawsuit. <laughs> lawsuit. <laughs> 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 you know, Sorry, you can catapult me. <laughs> Thinker well, we could always just think it could always right. push me on stage. He has yeah. muscles. Well, tell you what, yeah, Maggie, yeah, why right. don't you grab while well, you're you're so full of uh, vim and vinegar? I'm, I won't say the other thing. Grab the center square before anybody else does. So hurry up. Grab All that right. Well, square. I got this freaking walker on. I don't know how do I get up there. Oh, hello. There I'm you go. Here. Bam. You just you just okay, click thinker. on the little box inside it. All right, Thinker, get up there. We want you to sit right next to Granny. You're going to be her yeah, boyfriend. get your ass up here. On, oh, get, oh, get oh, all right. Yeah, I, I th are we going to do this this fast? Yeah, we're, don't, yeah. we're jumping right into it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we I guess I'll jump in the bottom yeah. corner there. But that's all right. Hey, everybody. Okay. And I meant that order in the nicest way possible. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Well, I'm going to let your other spot. people get in here first. I'm going to let other people get in there first. Come on, think. In you go. Right next but to. You can type right next her to voice. There. You can type her voice. If there. You get 
Yeah. Or a contestant. No. <laughs> hey, why not? You can grab a seat now. Come on. There we go. Come on, why? Well, I'm going to see who somebody in the audience may want to be in this. Really? Here. Is Fiddler even here yet? Yeah, I'm uh, going to be back. Did, didn't you say that he was oh, sick? Oh, we, well, we, we missed you. I'm Fiddler. right here. Fiddler and oh, are already in squares. We, we oh, Fiddler's right in the square. Program. He's right there. Okay. Who else wants to be in a square or a it's contestant? It's good to be back. There only good to two have you back. Hmm. Only two squares I'll left. I'll say this is for Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? No one pick me. I'm going to be wrong. <laughs> Come on, Pearly. Pearly's usually in a square. Oh. Yeah, I'll sit in a square. Uh, Come on, guys. Yeah. yeah Somebody get in the squares. Somewhere. Braley, don't need... say that. You're supposed to lie. Yeah. <laughs> That's messed up because every time I always answer the question, I'm so truthful. Um, <laughs> if you don't know it. And we need it. two contestants. Come on, somebody Come be on, a contestant. Come on, two contestants. Let's we gave don't worry, every, every time somebody life, asks me a question, I mortify them, so that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to be ready then, I'll be the one left. asking one all the questions. One left. Fiddler. Fiddler's, Fiddler's in a square. Fiddler. No, he's in there. Fiddler's in he's there. He's in there. Okay. Pearly's here. Yeah, we have he's a above Sakara. you. Pearly, has Pearly might want to be a contestant. Okay. Pearly might want to be a contestant. Who knows? All right. Well, so we need two contestants, please. Come on, two line. contestants. All right. Uh, All right. Don, and, you uh, can answer. Nobody else is jumping on. Or text or mic. You can, can answer just read, either on text just type or your, mic. Um, your response. Yeah. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Pearly, be a contestant. Yeah. Boy, you don't have to think. You just have to say right or wrong. Yeah. As long as you're not answering from AOL. Okay, hey, we got hey, Pearly. Hey, yeah, we got Pearly. We just need to start. Yeah, you can't have any more. Just yeah, one no more. freaking dial up. Not in me, Casa. <laughs> one more, and we can start. That's all we need. We need just one person. This is one of the most crowded nights that I've seen here. There's got to be someone here who wants to play. Anyone. Please, want some money. Okay. Some lemons. Anyone at all. We need one more contestant. Someone wants to get some of the Free money. On, just, just to get us started here. Not Come on, it doesn't right? cost an arm a kick or an elbow. Just get out there. On. It Come doesn't on, hurt. Maggie. How about you? Come on, Daddy, Daddy, get, a, get a contestant seat. Kenny. You don't have to be in voice. You can just type your responses, please. You don't yeah. fight. Free Lindens. We gave away <laughs> oh 1500 God. last week. If I said that in a sim full of Brazilians, this stage would be rushed. Everyone would just hmm. knock I know, face. right? <laughs> what that smell is come on guys get up here and be a contestant just one come on you can do it. come on you don't need a mic you can type and you in don't the... you don't need a <laughs> mic all you have to do is type your responses yeah cool cool it looks like we're so full up here. well fans here this is exciting <laughs> so just grab the seat right here <laughs> just seat. click on this yeah there we go. Oh. Now we can start. Oh, Yay! Welcome to. Hey, I'm here too. Welcome to the Hollywood yeah. Squares, everybody. Welcome to the yeah. show. Now I'm going to do a salty. for, do for the new people. One of these squares, salty. Salty, do you want to yeah, play? Don't. You want my squares? Um, yeah, but you got full squares already. Yeah, but I'm, I can stand up here. You can take my squares. Oh no, no. I, I, yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, come yeah. on, yeah. get up there. Come on, salty. We need you. Yeah. There we go. He doesn't need it. She's had one before. Yeah, I've okay. had a lot of squares. You had a square before? I hated them all. They were <laughs> now, just, before, just before we start, now that we got this up and running, I want to hear a few jokes from Why Not. Come on, Why Not. I'll give you a just couple a few. of jokes here. We got all right, let's give it a few jokes to warm everybody up and get everyone in the mood to play the Hollywood square. She better not make me get naked again for her next joke. Okay. <laughs> I want you naked when I do this joke, Brandon. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> When he found out he's going to inherit a fortune, when his sickly father died, he decided to find a wife to share it with. So one night in an investment meeting, he spotted this gorgeous woman. He, he'd never seen anyone more beautiful. Her natural beauty took his breath away. And he walks up and says, I might just look like an ordinary guy, but in a few years, my father will die and I'll inherit $200 million. The woman was really impressed and asked for his business card. And then three days later, she became his stepmother. 
Oh my god. This elderly couple were celebrating their 60th anniversary, and the couple had married as childhood sweethearts. They moved back to their old neighborhood after they retired. Well, they held hands and walked back to their old school. It wasn't locked. So they went in and found the old desk that they shared where Andy had carved I love Sally on it. On their way back home, a bag of money fell out of an armor car, practically landing at their feet, and Sally quickly grabbed it. She wasn't sure what to do with it, so they took it home, and she counted it. It was $50,000. Andy said, we got to give that back. And Sally said, finders capers. And she put the money in the bag and hid it in the attic. Well, the next day, two FBI men were canvassing the hood looking for the money. They knocked on the door. Pardon me, but did either of you find a bag that fell out of an armored car yesterday? Sally said, no. Andy said, she's lying. She hid it up in the attic. Sally said, don't believe him. He's getting senile. The agents turned to Andy. He says, tell us the story from the beginning. Well, when Sally and I were walking home from school yesterday, first FBI guy turns to the partner and goes, well, we're, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the husband had just finished reading a new book. It's called, You Can Be the Man of Your House. He stormed over to his wife in the kitchen and says, from now on, you need to know that I'm the man of this house and my word's going to be law. You'll prepare me a gourmet meal tonight. When I'm finished eating my meal, you can serve me a sumptuous dessert. After dinner, you're going to go upstairs with me and, well, you get the point. <laughs> Later, you're going to draw me a bath so I can relax. You will, uh, yeah, get the point. <laughs> you'll wash my back and towel me, dry me, and bring me my robe. And then you'll massage my feet and my hands. And then tomorrow, guess who's going to dress me and comb my hair? And she says, without even looking up from the morning paper, I guess the funeral director would be my first guess. <laughs> <laughs> Two old guys are pushing their carts around Walmart, and they collide. First guy says, sorry about that. I'm looking for my wife, and I, I guess I just wasn't paying attention where it's going. Second guy says, well, that's okay. It's a coincidence. I'm looking for my wife, too. I, I can't find her, and I'm getting a little desperate. The first old guy says, well, maybe I can help you find her, what she looked like. Second old guy says, well, mine's 27 years old, tall, red hair, blue eyes, long legs, and some short shorts. What's your wife look like? First guy says, doesn't matter. Let's look. I got one for Sonovi, and she didn't. Kirsten. I'll open the bag, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were pearly. <laughs> 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 Ole and Lena were sitting down to their usual cup of morning coffee listening to the weather report over the radio. There'll be three to five inches of snow today and a snow emergency's been declared. You must park your cars on the odd number side of the street. Ole got up from his coffee and goes, geez, okay. Two days later again, they're both sitting down with their cups of morning coffee and the weather forecast says, two to four inches of snow today and a snow emergency's been declared. You must park your cars on the even numbered side of the street. Ole got up from his coffee and goes, oh, geez, okay. Three days later, again, they're sitting with their cup of coffee, and the weather forecast says, six to eight inches of snow today, and a snow emergency has been declared. You must park your cars on the... And then the power went out, and Ole didn't get the rest of the instructions, and he says to Lena, geez, what am I going to do now, Lena? And Lena goes, oh, Ole, just leave the car in the garage. <laughs> this old man goes to the wizard to ask if he can remove a curse he's been living with for the last 40 years the wizard says well maybe but you have to tell me the exact words used to put the curse on you and the man says why well, i now pronounce you man and wife <laughs> <laughs> This man put some flowers on the grave of his dearly departed mother and started back toward his car, and his attention was diverted to another man kneeling at a grave. And the man seemed to be praying with profound intensity and kept going, Why did you have to die? Why did you have to die? And the first man approached him and said, Sir, I, I don't want to interfere with your private grief, but this demonstration of pain is more than I've ever seen before. Who are you mourning so deeply for? Is it a child, a parent? And the mourner said, my wife's first husband. 
I am reading the newspaper and an ad caught his eye. It announced $500 Porsche new. He thought it was really a, like a joke or something, but yeah, he looked into it. He went to the house of the lady selling the Porsche and she let him in the garage. And sure enough, there's an almost brand new Porsche in there. Wow. Can I take it for a test drive? And she said, sure. Unlike what he expected, it was a, it ran perfectly. So when he got back, he said, why are you selling me this great Porsche for only 500 And the lady laughed and says, my husband just ran off with his secretary and he told me, you can have the house and furniture. Just sell my Porsche and send me the money. <laughs> <laughs> and a ranger and Indian are walking in the national park and the Indian knelt down. He put his ear to the ground. After a few seconds, he stood up and said, Buffalo come. And the ranger said, can you hear him? The Indian said, no, ear sticky. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad one for tonight. This is a horrible one. Uh, All right, let's see. One more, one more, one more. One more. Okay. Yeah, the Italian lover, this really virile middle-aged Italian guy named Guido, he's relaxing at his favorite bar and he sees this spectacular young blonde woman. Things progressed to the point where he led her back to his apartment. After small talk, they went to the bedroom and he rattled her senseless. After a really pleasant interlude, he says, so you finish? She paused and she said, no. So see, he was surprised. So he rattled some more with her and this time she thrashed wildly and there were screams of passion. The sex finally ended again and again he smiled and he goes, you finish? Again, a short pause. And she cuddled closer and said, no. He was stunned, but he was damned if he's going to leave this woman unsatisfied. So he reached for the woman yet again. He used all the last of his strength. He barely managed it, but they ended up screaming, bucking, clawing, ripping bed sheets. And finally, exhausted, he fell on his back, gasping. He was barely able to turn his head, and he looked in her eyes and smiled proudly and says, Once again, you finish? And barely able to speak, the beautiful blonde says, No, I Danish. <laughs> all right that's it all right everyone so let's get started on the hollywood squares thank you so much for that why not that was excellent love that comedy anyway i wanted to have everyone sit down first and then do some comedy so nick had a chance to set up his camera but that'd be the best way to do that so we're going to go over for, to some people who are asking, how do you play the Hollywood Squares? This is a quick uh, thing. What you do is the contestant starts off, they pick someone that where they want to put their X or their O. This is like tic-tac-toe, three X's in a row. Or if nobody gets a three in a row, the one with the most number of X's or O's on the board is the one that wins the round. Also, there's a secret square every round. If a secret square is not chosen, the secret square is not changed. It is, stays the same until somebody picks it. So that may be a clue as to who the secret square can be. So, uh, also we always start off with a toss. So I go to my right, Pearly. I need you to pick heads or tails. Tails. And it's tails. You get to pick the first square on the Hollywood squares. Mm. Oh, Granny! Hey! <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah! Hey, 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 Granny! Yay, Granny! Granny! Yay, Granny. Granny. I, <laughs> I got a question that's right up your alley. You should know this one. You might remember this. Um, this is true or false. True or false. It has to do with Judy Garland when she was filming The Wizard of Oz. Oh. Yes. Now, Judy Garland, uh, the, with the role of, of uh, the Wizard of Oz, is supposed to be a very young girl, only about seven or eight years old. Originally, they were going to go with uh, Shirley Temple, but Shirley Temple was committed to another company already, so they had to go with Judy Garland. And they tried to make her as thin as possible to try to make her look very young. Now, true or false, she was put on a diet that included smoking 80 cigarettes a day. Jesus H. Christ. Hmm. How long do I have to answer this question? I'm thinking about all those documentaries I saw. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. 80 freaking cigarettes a day. That, that, yep. That's crazy. Um, that was back in the that, 30s, though. Yeah. 
I mean, the God. kids at kindergarten would go at least 30 like, during the recess. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um. Um. Shit. I want to say yeah because it's kind of outrageous. Okay. Granny says yes. Is she right or is she wrong? She's right. She's absolutely right. Judy Garland smoked 80 cigarettes in a single day. Holy balls. Just to keep the weight down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My God. It's amazing now, her we voice can wind that, up sounding though, like a... four packs a day, and it doesn't sound as bad. <laughs> I thought that was going to come out wrong. <laughs> I thought that was going to come out so wrong. Okay, Lucinda, we go to you. Who do you want to pick next for a square? Blackheart. Blackheart. Where's Blackheart? Hey, yeah, Blackheart. How's it going? Good old salty bow. Yeah. Blackheart. There's like two Blackhearts here, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, this, yeah, there's so one of them salty Bob and the other one. So, um, Lucinda, I need you to tell me which one. one the one on top is salty Bob. Braden. Okay, we're going with Braden. Brayden's the secret square, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Secret square. Hey. Bob likes to be on top. Secret square. Hey. And that's worth two for him. Oh, man. Not some scholars that I hear something like that. All right. Now, Brayden, we have a question here that's a leftover from last week. It was, it was one of the cartoon questions that we never had a chance to get to. And it is, uh, it, it goes thusly. There is a director by the name of Ralph Bakshi. He's well known for making animated cartoons for adults featuring lots of nudity with sexy women with gigantic breasts, such as Fritz the Cat, Fire and Ice, Wizards, and countless others. In the 1980s, Ralph Bakshi tried his hand at making a children's cartoon remake for television. What was it? Was it Woody Woodpecker, Casper the Friendly Ghost, or Mighty Mouse. Um, what was the first one again? The first one was uh, Woody Woodpecker. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that one. You say it's Woody Woodpecker. Okay, Lucinda is Braden right or is Braden wrong? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's wrong, actually. Nope. He, the uh, remake that, uh, sorry, Ralph actually made in the 1980s was Mighty Mouse. Sorry, so, I had no X, idea the answer to that. <laughs> All right. So, X gets the square, and we're going to go to Pearly. Pearly, I imagine you want Fiddler for the win. No. Oh. Yes. Yeah, but uh, because you got the Ooh. question wrong, Ooh, you're the X. Because uh, she got the question wrong, it goes to X. Yeah. Oakley, so Oakley. Fiddler for the win. Hello, Fiddler. Hello, I'm Charlie. Hello. Oh, cowboy. <laughs> okay, now this one is about science involving Hello. the Nobel Prize. Okay. All right. In 1906, J.J. Thompson was awarded the Nobel Prize for showing that electrons were particles. In 1937, his own son also won a Nobel Prize for showing that electrons were also what? Are they also waves? Are they electrically charged? Or do they taste good? Mmm. <laughs> Electric, uh, electrically charged. It says Final electrically amplifier. charged. Okay. Is he right or is he wrong? Right. No, actually, wait. You say, yeah, he's right. Sorry, he's wrong. Actually, they are, electrons are both particles and waves. So, they also taste good if you remember Beavis and Bubba. Yeah, but they're also electrically charged. <laughs> They are mm -hmm. electrically charged, but that's not what he got the award for. Yeah, Everybody knew they were electrically charged long before that. 
He proved that they were waves. So that's okay. I, I've heard other alive. people getting Nobel prizes for like absolutely nothing. <laughs> hmm. So we go to Pearly. I'm sorry, but I meant to say we'll go to Lucinda. Lucinda, who do you want next? Lucinda, you want Salty Bob? Hey, a Salty Bob. Hey, Hello, Bob. Hey. Salty Bob. Okay, Salty Bob. This is about an old actress from the night from World War II by the name of Hedy Lamar. You ever heard of her? Hedy Lamar. No. Hedy. <laughs> well, she was a famous actress who starred with Clark Gable and James Stewart in many movies, but she wasn't just an actress. She was also an inventor. She helped invent a guidance system for torpedoes, but she also pioneered work on an invention for modern-day technology. What was this technology? Is it computers, texting, or Bluetooth? Wireless wireless vibrator? Uh, let's see. Uh, um, I think it was computers. Yeah. You say Salty Bob says computers. Is he right or is he wrong? Right. Actually, no, it's wrong. It was Bluetooth and wireless technology. Oh, that was my second guess. Sorry. I almost, yeah. So... X gets the square again. So we go to Pearly. Pearly, who did you want? You wanted um, Gleesa, I would imagine. Gleesa. Hey, Gleesa. Hi. Hey, yo, Gleesa. Okay, Hi. what question do we have for you? This is about Korea. Yeah. Korea and. Okay, <laughs> my. Um, South Korea, best Korea. This is, this is, still, this is about the technology still. <laughs> Now, uh, in 2014, South Korea had switched all of their radio broadcasts to digital. But they held on to analog radio broadcasts for what purpose? Because it's because of uh, emergency radio, radio listeners who simply refused to go digital, or broadcasting propaganda to North Korea? Well, I think it's so they could hear Open Gangnam style, but, um, <laughs> um <laughs> I'm going to um, say propaganda. Propaganda. Is Galisa right or is Galisa wrong? Pearly wrong. Actually, she was right. Uh, it's propaganda. Too, propaganda is the reason. So, and by the way, no, please, nobody shout out the answers. That's against the rules. No coaching. No coaching, and thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay, so Pokey, I imagine you want Don for the win. You want Tindy? Tindalia? Well, Don, if you go, if you pick the top center square, that would be for the win. That would, yeah. Mine too, probably. It's okay, not everybody's a cat person. <laughs> you don't have to, I mean, if you insist. But okay, we're going with Don. Hey, Don. Hello, Don. Hello. Don. hello, hello. So what question do we have for you? We have, ah, now this is the difference between herbivores and carnivores. And we know that herbivores, of course, they eat vegetables. Carnivores eat meat. Now, when you have a large group of herbivores, they are always referred to as a herd. What do you, how do you describe a large group of carnivores? Are they a pride, a pack, or a party? It's always a party. Party. <laughs> is, that your, is that your final answer? Yes. All right. He says party. Is he right or is he wrong? Yes, well, what do you know? Pokey is right. He is wrong. A, um, a, was that a group of carnivores was always referred to as a pack, as in a pack of wolves. So the round actually goes to, uh, goes to Lucinda. That's it. That's the round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucinda. Well, Lucinda so gets 200. Away. And we'll clear the board and we'll go into the next round. And Lucinda gets to pick the first square. Keep going. Yay. 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 Congratulations. And good job, Pearly. Excellent work. Pokey. 
Okay, she wants Granny, and we go back to Granny for the center square. Hello, Granny. Ooh, Are you having fun? Granny. Hello, yes. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, you love this. All right. Now, I got a question for you about Bill. spam emails. Do you get a lot? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, penis spam. enhancement. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't have a penis. Sorry, uh, I'll stop <laughs> sending them. <laughs> okay. I have a simple true or false one for you. The amount of spam email has been steadily increasing every year since 1997. Is that true or false? True. You say true. So we go back to Lucinda. Is she right or is she wrong? Penis enhancements. <laughs> always makes me laugh. Right. Oh, sorry, she's wrong. This How year, for the wrong? first time I have ever. Like 500 penis emails. Ah, according to <laughs> According to a recent survey, this year, for the first time since 1997, spam email has been declining in 2016. They're lying bastards. Because it's all coming to my freaking so, <laughs> <laughs> so, X gets the square. Sorry about that. Pearly, on to you. Oh, my goodness. Get your and we... penis Randy, again. Randy, hey, you Randy. <laughs> Hello, Randy. How you they been? Got... First question for the night. Are you with us, Randy? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, Randy. <laughs> so what do we got here? We have a question involving Jeff Bridges. You know Jeff Bridges, the actor? Mm-hmm. Okay, Jeff Bridges. Uh, when he was 14 years old, Jeff Bridges and his older brother, Bo Bridges, would drive the family pickup to a crowded parking lot, and they would stage a fist fight with one another. Once a large crowd would gather around them, Jeff and Bo Bridges did what? Did they start selling tickets, encourage people to place bets, or they jumped in the back of their pickup and read lines from Shakespeare and catch her in their eye? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Randy says bets. Is he right or is he wrong? Right, you are, Pearly, you are right. They would jump in the back of their pickup and they would read lines from Catcher in the Rye. Huh? <laughs> ah, no kidding, Catcher in the Rye and Shakespeare. So, Lucinda, I imagine you well, want Don to the block. The Don, yeah, better have Don, yeah. Don for the block. Okay, Don, back to you. All right, Don. Have you been up there? Is how are you enjoying it? This uh, is this your first night here doing this? Don, what? are you with us? What? Bless you. Gesundheit. Bless you, whoever that was. Hello. I hope you Don caught that flying booger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did. Don, are you with us? Hello, Don. Donnie. Donny, Donny, Ding, Dong. Donny, Donny, Bobani, Banana, Bani, Bobani. Bing, Bob, Bobani. Don, we need your participation. Let's see if I can bring him. Oh, hey, there you are. Did Hello. you forget to turn your mic on? Yes. Yeah, he's speaking. Oh, okay. He's been speaking this whole time. We just didn't hear him. <laughs> okay. So. We got a question for you, and it is, just a sec, I have to find my place. Oh, here it is. Ah, now this one is about an experimental economies. You know that they set up isolated economies to run experiments on, on uh, money lending and stuff like that to see if they could work function in the society. There's an experimental town in India. It was founded in 1968. That uniquely does without two important things. Yes, it's your turn, Don. Sorry, yep. my phone rang. I apologize. Okay. Yeah, you can't be on the phone now, Don. We could be calling on you at any time. <laughs> so you okay. have to get. Okay. So the, this this one town, as an experiment, was founded without two important things. What are those two important things? Is it electricity and water, money and religion, roads and vehicles? Money and religion. You say money and religion. Is he right or is he wrong? 
Wrong. Oh, sorry, he was right, actually. The town in India called Aurora was founded in 1968 without the use of money or religion as an experimental <laughs> economic structure. So we go to Pearlie. I imagine, Pearlie, you want to go back to Don for the win. Yes. Okay, Don. It goes right back to you. I can't make that X automatically. We have Got to earn that, of course. Of Let's get this party started again. Okay. Barbara Streisand had a recent interview on a repeat on the, the O channel, and they revealed what something very odd that she keeps in her basement. What does Barbara Streisand have in her basement? You it's something really, really big, by the way. Is it an entire sound recording studio, a full-sized IMAX theater, or an entire shopping mall? <laughs> James Brolin's well, testicle. She is Rebecca Streisand, so she needs that big shopping mall down there. Big <laughs> shopping mall. He says shopping mall. Is he right or is he wrong? Wrong. Oh, sorry. He was right. It's a shopping mall. Circle gets the square and the round table Who, who, said, who said James Brolin's testicle? Who said James Brolin's testicle? <laughs> I did. <laughs> it, it doesn't count as guiding if it's not one of the options. Right? <laughs> that's, in, that's in one of the stores in the mall. It's Falls or Us. That's okay. <laughs> okay, Lucinda, we need you to pick the next one. Fiddler, it's going to Fiddler. Hey, Fiddler, where's Fiddler? Hey, hey, Hi, hey. Fiddler. I know, I know, I know. Yay. Okay, what question do we have for you? It involves mm -hmm. ah yes, the use of acronyms. Okay. Okay, now do you have a, an old Hotmail account? You know Hotmail's still around, right? Oh yeah. Yes, uh, I know that. Okay, now Hotmail is a name that was created from an acronym, but which one? Is it a hypertext markup language, home and office technology, or hexadecimal optimal transfer? Excuse me. Um, so I can find the could, you read, could you read those three again, please? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was Hot focusing Mill his bird. is a name that was created from an acronym. Oh, I got that. What's the three? Okay, yeah. Hi <laughs> hypertext markup language, home and office technology, or hexadecimal optimal transfer? Uh, hypertext. hypertext, number one. Hypertext markup language. Okay. Is he right or is he wrong? Right, it is a hypertext markup language, which everybody else knows as HTML. I'm there a we computer go. dude, so there I we know. go. So circle gets a square, and Hurley, uh, no. we imagine that you want Gleesa for the block. What? Yes, okay, Gleesa, it goes to you. Oh, I'm here. You're here. You're here, and we have another yeah. question. Involving HTML, HTML, hypertext markup language. Now, uh, recently they took a poll as to what most Americans think what HTML actually means. It turns out that one out of every 10 Americans thinks that HTML is a what? An amateur sports league, a radio station, or a sexually transmitted disease? <laughs> I'm going to go with the radio. Radio. People think that HTML is a radio because a radio has four car letters in it, which sort of yeah, makes sense. Yeah, like WKBW and okay. WHEB and all that. So, Pearly, do you think they're oh, okay? Pearly says wrong. Well, you're right, Pearly. She is wrong. One out of every ten Americans thinks Yay. that HTML is a sexually transmitted it disease. disease. <laughs> it can be. Huh? Only one yeah, out I know. of ten. Damn this thing, huh? Okay, Lucinda, we imagine you want Tendali for the block. Oh, baby, by Ooh. the way, I need to tell you, uh, I went yeah. to the doctor today. I have HTML. Um, just wanted to let you know. Uh, you want no, to HTML? I want to check your browser. Yeah, HTML is getting expensive. You get a refresh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Tendalia. 
Uh, we got a, we got a question for you. It should be right up uh, your alley. It's about menopause, and you've been pregnant so many times. You should know something about this. Oh my god! This is a <laughs> question. <laughs> it burns when I type, and it, 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 it's not fun. No, yeah. that's kind of herpesyphilis. <laughs> kind of herpesyphilis. Okay, Tendalia, Are you there, Tendalia? No. Give us a shot. Okay, we're there. Okay. <laughs> I've only been no. talking for like five minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check to make sure people's microphones don't cut out because it's been happening so often. But okay, according My to science, my mic's not cutting out. It's your ears. Okay, mm. according to science, only two other species besides human beings go through menopause. Most of all other mammals can breed children until they die of old age. I'm gonna read to you three animals. You have to guess which one does not experience menopause. Okay. Is it horses? Chimpanzees or killer whales? Horses. You say horses. Right or wrong? Right, yep, yeah, it's horses. Uh, apparently, both chimpanzees and killer whales experience menopause just like human beings. Circle gets the square. Is it racist to say Mexicans don't? Good <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, apparently. What do you want next? You want Thinker? Thinker is the secret square, everybody. Yay! 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 Yeah, we're starting to run out of squares. It had to be somebody. All right. Yay! Okay, Thinker. Yeah. Now this I'm ready. this is a, this is a question about sports. Oh. Okay. Now I need to know from you which sport specifically has a rule. That says a player cannot fraternize with the other team while they're in uniform. Okay. Now, this is a rule in, is it basketball, baseball, football, or all three? It's all three. You say it's all three. All those, all the words. The strongest one is when they're in, is in swimming. Okay. <laughs> so, so is he right or is he wrong? He's wrong. It's only baseball that has this rule. That means X gets the square. Really? Uh, I would think, uh, think uh, up to my yeah. Yes, football would also have that rule too. I would imagine. Uh, I've the heard game. them. Apparently, you're not. I've heard them. They they speak to each other on the field. Like that's called fraternizing, <laughs> and they're allowed to do that. As a matter of fact, oh, yeah, the two yeah, team yeah, captains are allowed yeah. to converse with one another if they're talking about kicking or receiving or stuff like that. So they don't um, have that rule the same way baseball does. Okay, so we go back to Lucinda. And since we can't, no one can, well, can you still get three in a row? You can't, but you can still get the most well, number on the board. Why can't you get three in the row? Well, because it's all blocked up in the middle. Curve to the left. You sure, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> Bobby. But you can still get the most number she, she can't on the board, and that would still oh, win the round. So, oh. um. Oh, Lucinda, got it. I do understand. Want, do you want Brayden or do you want Salty Bob? <laughs> All these flavors, you gotta choose the salt. Brayden. Me, hey, yeah, Brayden. Okay, Brayden, it goes to you. All right. What do we have? Ah, let's see. This is the author of the book The Color Purple. Did you see that movie by Steven Spielberg? It starred very famous people like Oprah Winfrey, several others. I've heard about it. Heard about it. Movie? Okay. <laughs> now, no. the, movie, the movie is based on a book, based on a book written by a woman named Alice Walker. Alice Walker believes that the world is secretly controlled by what? I'll give you three options. Is the world secretly controlled? Sorry? Teletubbies. Uh, no, that's not one of the answers. It's, uh, let's see, what is the secret <laughs> world is secretly controlled by an oligarchy of billionaires, the Illuminati, or giant interdimensional lizard people? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. My years of internet experience tells me it has to be the Illuminati, right? <laughs> hmm. So that's what you're going with, the Illuminati? Yeah. Okay. Lucinda, is he right or is he wrong? Wrong. Actually, you're right. Um, they, they, was it uh, was it Brayden is wrong. Uh, she believes that the world is secretly controlled by giant interdimensional lizard people. Yeah. So circle gets the square. 
Now, whoever gets this <laughs> last square is going to win the round because they'll have the largest number on the board. So wonder if go that, back to um, oh, wait, we'll get it with three X's too. Has that author <laughs> been, like, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> So, Pearly, uh, you want to, oh, look, I guess we're going to go with Bob because we don't have a choice. Oh. <laughs> Just like Jim Salty Bob. I'd like to choose. <laughs> Salty Bob. Okay. Now, you don't have a choice? You. Here's a question for you. <laughs> because we're out of options. No. <laughs> this, is a, this is a question about NASCAR. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a multiple choice. There's three. There's three possible answers. How many African Americans have ever won a NASCAR race? Is it two, one, or none? Hmm, I, I think it's maybe none. <laughs> say none. It should be at least one, but uh, yeah, I think it's none. You say none. It wouldn't surprise okay. me. No. Yeah. He's wrong. You're right, Pearly. He is wrong. That means Chappelle ah, wins the race. Really? One okay. man. Yeah. <laughs> One man in history. He won it in 1963. They had to wait until the stadium was empty before they announced it. And they say, according to, to avoid starting a riot. Wow. Wow. One. That wouldn't surprise me. Two hundred <laughs> <laughs> so nice. for Pearly, and we're going to reset turn. the board. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> GPS going know, crazy. <laughs> is there anybody else who wants to be a contestant or in a square yeah. who yeah, hasn't no, had an opportunity? That's right. We're halfway through. We'd like to give somebody else a chance to play. Does anybody else want to play tonight? Either Please in a square up. or at the, as a contestant. Please speak up. We need I'm going to because I'm terrible at these questions, but it doesn't matter. Anybody I'll else? Play. I'll play. We're all guessing it's here. Hey, Danny, you want to play? Well, well, I know Than yeah. wanted to play. Than, did you want to take one of the squares? Uh, I got with the old I'll, I'll the take a square or I'll play, whatever. I'll take a square. Whee! You Alright, Than, you take a square. <laughs> I don't want to play. You want to play? <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't. No, 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 no. No thanks. No, 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 no. Anybody else want to be a contestant? We need hey, a contestant. I, I, I can. I can. Bye. Yay, come on, yeah. Kirsten. Yeah, yeah you, you haven't played yet, huh? <laughs> I haven't played. But I won't have to anybody to sit on. Yay, Kirsten. Yay, Kirsten. Woo! Kirsten. Love you, Pearly. Thank you. Represent okay. black cards everywhere. <laughs> right, black cards rule. Rest of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> now, since we switch contestants, we're going to have to flip again to see who goes first. Kirsten, I need you to call heads or tails. Heads. 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 It is. I'm actually flicking a guitar pick. <laughs> is, is someone in the oh, tails? So oh, sorry, it goes to Lucinda. Cinda, who do you want to pick first? Who's granny, hey, a Granny. Hello, Granny. Hey, Granny. Don't pick granny. me. I get shit wrong. Don't pick me. <laughs> was my You're the center <laughs> square. You are the key to winning this game. It all hinges oh. on you. Okay. Oh, great linchpin of of uh, of Big Jack Toe. So, so oh. I'm the vagina fang of this field. You're Paul yeah. Land. <laughs> You're the fallopian tube of our life. Oh, that's the I sweetest love... thing anyone's ever told me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Granny, I absolutely I love you, here. Vagina fang. Uh. <laughs> Granny, I have to say, I love you, here. What what shade of pink is that? I think it's the flamingo. Ah, the flamingo, the good old plastic flamingo. Uh, I love dancing what a the great flamingo. Classic. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of those little pink things that people leave in their yards. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Portion red. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to go on to board games. Oh. Board games. This is a question about board games. Now, I'm going to ask you, which of these three popular board games, all of which are available in Second Life, by the way, which one was invented in Canada? Is it oh. Trivial? Is it Trivial Pursuit? Cards Against Humanity, or Sorry. Oh, oh shit. 
Listen, let me just start by saying that Game Sorry in Second Life is a bastard. It's named Cheesy in here. And like, if that <laughs> we play it. cheats against you, and you have to make, you all have to fight the computer. You all have to fight the <laughs> That bastard blue. That bastard blue. It always tries to cut you in the nipples. Alright, so let's see. So which one was made in Canada? Is that, that yes. was the question? Yes, it was, yes. Alright, so it was Sorry, and it was what? Um, um, Cards which... Against Humanity and Trivial Pursuit. Those two I haven't played. Shit. Balls on the wall. Well, you know what? Normally Canada's fair, but maybe they were unfair and they got sick of us and they made that cheesy. So... You, ah, damn it! You think um, it's Sorry? Oh, I don't know. You don't have to torture yourself. Just guess. Or sound confident and lie. We like yeah, it. too okay. late to sound lie. confident. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see, I'm old. Look what these people do to me. This is abuse. You can this is <laughs> All right, all right. How about that? All right, all right, all right, all right. What were the first two again? Okay, it's a uh, Trivia Pursuit and Cards Against Humanity. Uh, cards Against Humanity. You say Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> yeah. Is she right or is she wrong? Wrong, it was Trivial Pursuit. So, uh, Lucinda is right, circle gets the square. How rude. <laughs> How did you guess I was wrong? How did you guess? <laughs> yeah, you sounded so confident. I yeah, know, okay, I know. Um... Tim Dahlia. Tim Dahlia. Okay, Tim Dahlia. On to what? you. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. I was what sleeping. Do we got? <laughs> you see, yeah, you wonder why I check to make sure people are still there. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go on to booze. This is about beer American beer and Canadian beer. Hey. Beer, one of our favorite subjects. Now, you when you see the black beer... part rum, yeah. when you see <laughs> beer on listed on the label, usually by average, Canadian beer is one percent higher than American beer. Why is this? Is it because Canadians add alcohol artificially because we're hard drinking bastards? Americans are a bunch of pussies. Or, we actually measure alcohol differently in each country, and the content's actually about the same. Measure it differently. You measure it, we measure it differently. Is Tindalia right, or is Tindalia wrong? Uh, she's right. She's absolutely right. America you measures beer bastards. by mass, we measure beer by volume, <laughs> and if there's a 1% no. difference between the two, that means X gets the square. Do you know that, Brady? Right. So we go to Lucinda. Yeah, I knew that one, yeah. <laughs> Lucinda. <laughs> oh, we, no, that, we already had Cindy. Oh, come on, Cindy's let's taken. do it again. <laughs> we so can't do get a higher uh, point average for a DWI over there? You can't get a DWI when you're riding a moose. Not it's Baker. <laughs> yeah, right. Me, oh, me. I'm not the right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was a stupid question of me. <laughs> Let's see. What are we going to go to? We're going to talk about motorcycles. What do you know about motorcycles? Vroom, vroom. Practically vroom, nothing. Vroom. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they go vroom vroom. There's our confident oh, yeah. liar right there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna name you three motorcycle manufacturers. You have to guess which one is not American. All right. Okay. Is it, is it Triumph, Harley Davidson, or Buell? It's Buell, I think. Buell. You say Buell is not American. Is he right or is he wrong? You're right, Lucinda. He is wrong. Triumph is British. Buell is actually owned and run by Harley Davidson. So that means circle gets the square. There we go. So, Kirsten, you want Thanatos for the block, I would imagine. I do. You do. All right. We go to Than. Hey, Than. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. You know, this, 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 okay, this question is a preview for next week. Next week we're doing superheroes. I got one superhero <laughs> question for you. Yes. So this is, this is, yes. Now, uh, Superman was originally written as a what? I'm going to go through three options. Was he supposed to be a villain, a sidekick, or a regular human being given powers through a magical costume? I, I know all about this because I'm a huge fan. It's the last one. He's just a regular person. We're fans. And oh, wait a minute. A wait a minute. Wait, oh. wait. What? Okay. What? We're, we're uh, fans. I'll go with the last one then. <laughs> you said, okay. <laughs> I thought I was in the square. I'm not an expert. The square. Oh. You only have to guess if he's right or wrong. But uh, oh. you, do you agree <laughs> with right. that? You say he's right. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> Superman was supposed to be the villain. Yeah, I don't know. Even I can fill a suit out that well, it's the kind of superhero I'm not There were other characters from those eras that had magical costumes that gave him powers. None of them really survived to modern day. Superman was originally written as a villain. It never got off the ground. Publishers hated it until they turned him into a hero. I can't make a circle there. That means Lucinda has to earn it. I should have come out of because yeah. I would have known that. <laughs> If so it's not true, Doctor Fate is just a helmet. He made it to nowadays. Yeah. So uh, you want fan? Let's put fan for the, for for the win, win, right? Marvel question. I would have been set. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to move on to George Orwell now. George Orwell, of course, the very well-known okay. author of 1984 and Animal Farm and several other books. Now, this is a question about George Orwell's life during World War II. George Orwell could not fight for England in World War II because of injuries that he sustained from fighting a previous war. Which war was that? Was it World War I, the Spanish Civil War, or the Irish Civil War? That was... was not fighting the Illuminati? Irish <laughs> Civil War. You say the Irish Civil War. He does live in England, so it's possible he would have been in it. I'm still going on today. Wrong. Your uh, Lucinda is right. Thanatos is wrong. He got injuries from fighting in the Spanish Civil War, which means ah. circle gets a square <laughs> and oh the square. Oh my! Goes to Lucinda. Look at that. Was I wrong? Wait, how can the Irish yeah, fight yeah. if they're so drunk all the time? Uh, well, all no, they have to do is fight. Ever, by the way, the secret square person? was not chosen, uh, and we're not, leaving it as is. That's a. Uh, Walks in circles and watch drunk people oh, fall down while they tried yeah. to fight. <laughs> Uh, like, <laughs> Jackie, I never do well as a contestant. So, we, I believe we go to Kirsten. Now, Kirsten, we start with you because we went, we started with Lucinda last time. Who do you want to start the Hollywood Squares with? Um, Granny. Granny! Granny. Hey, Granny! Hey. Hey. Hello, Granny! Granny. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves Granny! Granny! <laughs> I'll look for today. <laughs> okay, Granny. Uh, what do you know about Canadian Prime Ministers? Damn it, we're Canada already. <laughs> yeah, it's Canada. Shit about Canada. You don't know oh. about Canada. All, right, All I know is I want to move there and not live here. <laughs> for a little while. For yeah. a little while. Vacation. Yeah, like vacation a lot in of Canada them. during the summer. It's not very hot. Fuck that food they call the beaver logs. Those sound so good. <laughs> <laughs> They're not what you okay. think they are. All right, well, let me, um, <laughs> this is a question about our Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau is the son of what famous person? Is it the former Canadian Prime Minister, Pierre Trudeau, the Queen of England, or one of the band members of the Rolling Stones? Uh. <laughs> I'm the first one. Son of Pierre Trudeau. Is she right or is she wrong? Wrong. No, actually, she's right. She's the son of Pierre oh, Trudeau. Oh, very nice. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? Ah. You should have known that well, one. It's so obvious. Question. I mean, the guy's name is Trudeau. You would think. Well, I thought it was that, too obvious because yeah. it was. Obvious. You see, I There's throw that song. in there just to throw people off. Sometimes it really is <laughs> the obvious answer. I saw it yeah. on 60 Minutes a couple of weeks ago, too. Okay, so we go to Lucinda. Lucinda, who did you want? Randy. 
Randy, we're going to Randy. Hello, Randy. You there? You with us, Randy? Okay, Randy's with us. All right. So who do we go to? Ah, this is about China. What do you know about China? Now this is uh, okay. In the year two thousand and two, Boeing delivered a seven six seven aircraft to China to serve as President Jiang's Air Force One. During the test flight. The pilots found over two dozen what on the airplane? Two dozen. Two dozen uh, serious electrical flaws, discarded cigarette butts, or electronic listening devices. Snakes! Oh, snakes. There's motherfucking snakes on that motherfucking plane! <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't have been. Ele okay, he says ELT, electronic listening devices. Is Randy right or is Randy wrong? He's right, yeah, it was electronic listening devices, and they must have done a real shit job of hiding them, too, if a bunch of pilots found them just on their maiden voyage. <laughs> stuck on the walls. Wow. <laughs> that's just the ones they found. They must have been yeah, pretty That's obvious. the ones they found. Okay, so, Kristen, you want Don for the block? I do. You do? Okay, let's go to Don. Hey, Don, you with us there? He's not yeah. on the phone again, all right? Okay, he's with us. All right. Yay. Ah, now this is another question about American beer. What is it? I beer. 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 I like beer. Makes me a jolly good fellow. Now, according to a poll beer. taken of American beer drinkers, almost half of American beer drinkers in their 20s have never tried what? Imported beer, lager, or any kind of Budweiser. I'm sorry, I'll just have to take lager for 500. Lager, you say lager. They have never tried a lager. I agree. You agree? Nope, it's actually Budweiser. They what? have never tried any kind of Budweiser, no, but Budweiser nice. Light or anything. Because uh, they call it piss tell, water. You can tell that was a trick question. Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, because they call it piss because, water. Um, Lucinda has to like that. So Lucinda, we go back too to many Don? college parties where people have just chugged whatever you had and Bud's like cheap. Don. Okay. Yep. According to this I poll, they say. Answer. According to this poll, forty-four percent of Americans in their twenties have never tried any brand, like any type of Budweiser. You know, there's like fifty of them. Well, okay. is that across the globe or just in the? No, it's just Americans. 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 I can talk Americans? To some in their twenties, people have never had sex. Now, yeah, but now, they what they that about? Is it a by Ian All and over. Bush? No. Well, anyway, we're going to Don. Don, we're going to you're, we're going to go from beer to Vicodin. Mm, the question Vicodin. about Vicodin. Not yet, but like Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Vicodin. Now, the V I in Vicodin is actually a Roman numeral for six, which means what in the name Vicodin? Is it six times stronger than codeine? Is it six times weaker than codeine? When it was invented, there were six trade names licensed to produce. Vicodin. Which one of those is it? I'm going to go with stronger than, sir. Stronger than codeine. Vicodine. Six times stronger than codeine. Yes, that's it. Circle gets a square and the round goes to Lucinda. I knew that one. Uh, yes, yeah, that I knew that one I'm like, damn, I'm a druggie, man. What the f <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> beer. Yeah, it's hydrocodone, right? Yeah. So that means that, uh, was that it Lucinda gets the round? Yes. And sorry. So, uh, who started the round last time? Uh, Kirsten, yeah. we flipped. You didn't win, so went to Lucinda. So now, Kirsten, it goes to you. You get to start the round. I thought Ooh, I well, started the picked. last one. Uh, didn't you lose the um, flip? I lost them both. <laughs> oh, oh, right. No, I mean the toss. Oh, you yeah. lost the toss. Oh, yeah. You're behind okay. a round. It's, yeah. it's Lucinda. Lucinda and the third went, round. And then Kirsten went, and now it's back to oh. Lucinda. Oh, okay, so it goes back to Lucinda. I'm yeah. sorry. This is the third round with Kirsten. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to have Lucinda pay for my nursing the, home. This possible, <laughs> depending on how short or long this round is, it's possible this will be the third. Was it the uh, last round for the night? So, Granny, back to you. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Ah. You know what? I really wish you got the Viking in one. I'll bet that would have been right up your alley. 
I wish. <laughs> yeah, I should have. I should have handed you that one. This next question is about NASA. Oh about shit! Things in outer space. Yeah, <laughs> astronauts. Uh, right. Flying balls. Uh, brains in uh, outer space. Uranus. Hello. Now, exactly. <laughs> Uh, who here remembers the Skylab program from back in the 1970s? That was I the first when it fell. No, I remember space it. station. Right. <laughs> the you first say sort of space station that we had. And it was in 1973. On May 14th. Man, yeah. Yeah. 1973, the three-man crew of Skylab 4 staged the first what in space? The first strike? The first declaration of an independent nation, or the first gay orgy? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, repeat the first two, not the orgy. I think that's the first one. <laughs> okay, that was it. The first strike, or the first declaration of an independent nation in space? Mm -hmm. uh, the second one. Okay, the first, um, the first declaration of an independent nation in space. No, 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 no. Oh, you want the first strike? Oh shit! Now I'm confused. <laughs> well, actually, it's one, two, or three, Granny. I can't make it any simpler. I know. Fine, fine. Any, mini, mighty, mo, catch a wiener by the toe. If it comes, let it go. Any, mini, my a first one. First one. Okay, that would be the first strike. <laughs> yeah. The first strike. Is she right or is she wrong? Wrong. No, Actually, she was right. <laughs> was right. It was the oh. first strike in space. Yeah, because I remember it was May 14th, oh. 1973. Did they pick it? Okay, Kirsten. And it was a Skylab orbited. Yeah. Well, the reason yeah. why they had a strike was they had they were being overworked and they decided to tell them to fuck off. We're just going to have a day of relaxing. So all the astronauts and cosmonauts are holding signs and picking it up there in the space lab? Okay, Kirsten, who did you want? Do you want Randy? Randy. Randy! Hey, Randy. Randy. Hello, Randy. Hello. Okay, now, oh, geez, here's something that's important that you Americans need to know. Tax day is coming up. Oh, yeah. Tax day. Tax day. This is a question about tax day, and you Americans should know this one because this is important. Beware the uh, of April. Yep, tax day is the expiration day for filing your taxes. Except for, for this year, you get an extension. Not tomorrow. See, usually, that's right. Damn the man. April, when <laughs> was it? Tax day usually falls on April 15 on a way on any weekday except a Friday. If it falls on a Friday, like it does this year, the deadline is extended to the following Monday. Now, why is tax never allowed to fall on a Friday? I'll give you three options. Uh, the IRS thinks it encourages procrastination, or the IRS does not want to receive a huge chunk of tax returns on the last day of the week, which would ruin their weekend. Or the third reason, they don't want tax day to conflict with Emancipation Day, which is on April 16. <laughs> Or they're afraid of airplanes crashing on the side of the building again. <laughs> so which one? Okay, Randy oh, says dark. number two, and the number two option was, um, right, they don't want the tax returns to all come in the last day and ruin their weekend. Is Randy right or is Randy wrong? Randy is wrong. It's the third one. It was Emancipation Day, and you are absolutely right. X gets the square. Go. Okay. So, Lucinda, we go to you. You met Don for the block. I got one <laughs> right, finally. Yay! Okay, Don, up to you. Hey, you Don. How you doing, Don? I'm doing, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing really good. Doing? You okay. Doing? How you doing? Okay, this is a question about computer viruses. Oh, those. So I got plenty of TTDs. Okay. Computer viruses, Don. We don't want to know what you do in your free time. <laughs> huh. Second life, ain't I? Yeah, okay. Uh, now, <laughs> okay. What, I'm going to have a question for you. What was the name of the very first computer virus to spread on personal computers? I'll give you three Microsoft. options. Windows. I'm sorry, Windows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to say, wait for the answers. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> okay. okay, the first, the first computer virus to spread on personal computers, was it called... The brain, the elk cloner, or the creeper virus? 
Let's go with the creeper because they're always nice to us. The creeper. Okay, Don says it's the creeper virus. Is he right or is he wrong? You're right, Lucinda. He is wrong. The very first virus on a PC computer was called the Elk virus, which was made in 1982, and it was made for the Apple computer, not Microsoft. And here I thought it was the Trojan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but the condom. Yeah, that was a condom there. Okay, Kirsten, it goes to you. Brayden. 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 Yes. Okay, Brayden. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Where's Brayden? Brayden in the bottom. Down here in the corner. corner. Okay, Brayden. Ah, now this is a this is a weird question. Ah, you know what I'm gonna do? Make this simple for you. Do you build, Brayden? Ah, uh, yes. You build. Okay. I'm gonna ask What's you a question. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's oh. in the box? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, flashbacks to seven. All right. Now, these are three prims that I put right in front of you. Which of these three prims is capable of going flexi? The cube, the sphere, or the torus? How many drinks the do I have? Cube. I mean, uh, the sphere. The sphere. No. You say this. <sighs> no? I don't know. Flexi? Or flexi. Which of these prims is capable of going flexi? Let's say you the, didn't last answer one. the last one. The, the what, one, what, on the the, one right in front of me on the on the end. The Taurus. Okay, you say the Taurus. Okay. Is he right or is he wrong? He's wrong. You're absolutely right. He is wrong. The one that's capable of going flexi, it's the, the box. it's the box. Yeah, it's the box. Yeah. Here, watch this. I'll make it and flexi I, right now. As a, I know as about me boxes. That's all See, there I can do. <laughs> There's the box going on flexi. There we go. It's not a thing. Hey, it's going limp. <laughs> Why does that look familiar? And I believe Lucinda has chosen. You wanted um, Tindy for the block, right? Or Tindy, hiya, Tindy. What could we meet? After all, squares are the best ones to make flexible in real life. Yes. Okay, Tindy, we got a question for you, and it is about fingerprints. I have Leaving some. your fingerprints. Okay, we all have fingerprints. But there is a mammal besides human beings that has fingerprints, and they're almost identical to people. Which one is it? Is it chimpanzees, gorillas, or koalas? Gorillas. You say gorillas. Gorillas are almost identical to people. Is he right or is he wrong? Wrong. You were right, Lucinda. It's koala bears. Who would have guessed that? Co koala bears have I love fingerprints koalas. that are almost identical to human beings. If you commit okay. a murder, make sure you wear gloves like a koala bear. Or you could just like a commit murder. <laughs> a koala oh, said champ. Said koala, koala. Just blame like it on the poor koala. The classic okay. koala. Fiddler, you want fiddler for the win. America's most wanted. A koala has killed. No way. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> chimps are considered closest to humans. I wonder why. Uh, genetically, but their fingers are very different than ours. They don't have fingerprints oh, similar to human beings. The same yep. mel mel melatonin or whatever it is. Okay, stuff like that. Okay, you know so we're gonna move very on cool. They're very fingers cool. Are so big. You know why their fingers are so big? Why? Because they have big nostrils. I think I missed uh, that up, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We need big fingers to pick our nose. <laughs> they have big fingers. I think I missed that up. I can pick my nose. I can't pick my friend's nose. That's right. Okay, so Fiddler. This is about a which sports venue has the highest seating capacity in the world. All right? I'll okay. give you three options. Is oh. it the Indianapolis Speedway, the Cirque de la Sarthe, that's where they hold the 24-hour Le Mans, or the May Day Studi Stadium in Pyongyang? That's in North Korea. All right. 
And what was the second one? The second one was the Cirque de la Sarthe. That's where they hold the 24-hour Le Mans in France. 24-hour Le Mans. Is it a, a Le Mans class in the middle of France? Well, you know, the, the right. Le Mans, uh, the famous 24-hour <laughs> race that they have in uh, the 24-hour one. Year. Le Mans. Okay. Le Mans. And the third one was? Third one was Mayday Stadium. That's in Pyongyang, where they have those people that do those giant marching things. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go with the China, only because no, it's, it's, it's North so Korea. populated in such a small <laughs> area that. No, it's not China. Well, Korea is not that populated, actually. Well, You're oh, Korea. Of, well, same thing. It's North Korea. <laughs> North Korea. It's actually Korea. incredibly different. All right, hold on. Let me make my. <laughs> hold actually, on. Let me make up my mind. Um, Is it my turn? Google. I'm going to Google North Korea. <laughs> okay, you say the Mayday Stadium in Kanye. Is Fiddler um, right or is Fiddler wrong? I'm going to say he's wrong. You're right, he is wrong. It's the Indianapolis Speedway. I can't believe you don't know that. I've been there. That place is fucking huge. It seats <laughs> one quarter of a million people. There's no other sports uh, place in the say, entire I didn't world. Know it. Oh, we Yeah, oh, he's just lying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's all we can do for tonight, everyone. All the questions have been used up. I won. Thank you. Oh. Say and no, yeah. no, 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 and that means Kirsten won, and nobody picked the secret Good. square. It was Glee oh, for the past oh, several rounds. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, Wait, what, what was the answer? I didn't hear the answer because right. my voice or some kind. Well, good night, everybody. Oh, hold on, I gotta pay the uh, contestants. Good night. Speedway. That was fun. I I sucked ass though, but that's okay. Oh, we all suck. Okay, <laughs> who was the first person I played tonight? It was a per Thank Curly. You, you don't know if I actually know what I'm talking about or whether I'm a lot of bastards. <laughs>